thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. If you're like me and you live in the Netherlands, or I guess pretty much anywhere else, and you're trying to watch something online but it's not available in your country, with just a single click, you can change your virtual location to pretty much anywhere in the world and then continue watching. NordVPN lets you safely route your IP address through an encrypted connection to help secure your online presence. With more than 5,000 servers in 60 countries, it's easy to set up and very quick to use. Personally, I've got NordVPN set up on my laptop as well as my phone, and the way that it works on my phone is that as soon as I leave my home, it will automatically connect to the internet through the VPN, and therefore I know that I'm always safe. If you're interested, you can go to nordvpn.com slash locotv or use code locotv when you check out to get a huge discount with a 30-day money-back guarantee. The link is down below in the description of this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to some good old StarCraft 2. Today it's time for me to become a real YouTuber as I'm gonna do a, uh, a YouTuber challenge. Today's challenge is the try not to cringe challenge. You can play along with me. Let me know down below in the comment section of this video. After you, of course, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button and all that, right? Because I'm a real YouTuber now. Um, <laughs> let me know how long it took you to start cringing. Anyways, top left and corner, Curious Minds. We have a Silver League hero. He's making zero space construction vehicles because SCVs, I mean, they don't even really deal any damage anyways. Why would you make them? We're looking at none other than Boran's main command center. And Boran actually is already sending out two SCVs to watch the other side of... The oh, God. 42 seconds. <laughs> I made it 42 seconds. That's a new record. Uh, Boran is going for what seems to be uh, a proxy cheese... And he's building the barracks in arguably the worst location you could, although I would say right over here is probably even worse. May maybe over... No, actually, this would probably be better because then at the very least you can make like a semi wall off right there at the bottom of the ramp. Anyways, playing right here with the blue Protoss probes, we have his unranked opponent and he goes by the name of Yugron. Yugron is going to be the big question mark in this match. I mean, we know that Boran is in Silver League, but Yugron, we have no idea. This guy could be a... Uh, a secret grandmaster in disguise. If the latter, you know, did a really poor job and didn't even try to face off against a, uh, a reasonably similarly skilled opponent. Anyways, Yugron right here uh, scouts the proxy Rex, does absolutely nothing about it, but he does start up a Zealot at home, which is good. He's also going for a pretty conservative approach, and so far, actually, I like what the Protoss player here is doing quite a bit better. He's gonna obviously want to add on a second gateway, though. I don't think that would hurt. Yugron? Yugron, you also have an ability called Chrono Boost. Wouldn't mind you, uh, yeah, using that as well. All right, instead he decides to go for the true unranked approach. Goes for a Forge. Honestly, not a bad choice. But I think a second, yeah, a second gateway would probably do a little bit better, right? Like, you could go for, like, a couple of Stalkers at this point, maybe a few Shield Batteries, and you can probably prevent this from ever dealing a lot of damage. Yugron does target fire down the SCV, so no bunker inside of the main base. Zealot right there apparently was a little too cool to face his death head on, which is a little bit disappointing, but Jimmy over there apparently has to contemplate life for at least a little bit after slicing up a man with literal swords for arms. Once again, ooh, Yugron could have probably killed the, uh, the Marine over there. No revenge this time around for the very first Zealot, and sadly this Zealot also doesn't really seem to achieve all too much. In the meantime though, Yugron has finished up the forts and he's also gone for a Starport, or a Stargate rather. At home, uh, we have... One of the SCVs chilling right here with his new best friend, the cleaning bot. Very important. <laughs> this is actually uh, the way that they uh, they tame wild horses as well. This is how you tame wild Roombas, okay? If you ever encounter a Roomba in real life, just awkwardly stand behind it for the better part of half an hour and maybe it will follow you home. And then, you know, you have a Roomba, which is pretty nice. You get one of those cleaning robots of your own. Anyways, just a fun little mini game that Boran likes to play when he plays uh, with the Terran SCVs. I mean, you know, playing Terran is a bit easy for him anyways, right? So he's just making it a bit harder for himself than it absolutely needs to be. And I do admire that. Like, a lot of StarCraft players out there are trying to get better by, you know, facing off against better opponents. But Boran is making it harder for himself by making, you know, the, g <laughs> the game more complex than it needs to be. Which is a, uh, yeah, a trait that not many people have. Anyways, um, he still hasn't really added on a whole lot of SCVs. He also still has not tamed the, um, the Roomba, so at this point I would say that Boran is actually not in that great of a spot. What he does have, though, is a bunch of Marines. No shield battery here available for our Protoss player, because that would also make things a little bit too easy. I mean, a battery overcharge, is that really what you need? No, 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 no. 
Instead, what we're gonna do is uh, lose a bunch of the probes and rely on lasers. Go on, laser boy! Get him! All right, probes using their tasers to their advantage as well. You girl, I think you, if you're gonna go, you should probably go right now. <laughs> you should probably not wait until there's additional Marines inside of those bunkers. You girl, you, you girl. Hey, buddy, buddy, come on. You girl, hey, you girl. You girl, you girl. Hmm. Today I learned that apparently with this Void Ray skin, there's like a little pylon at the front, look at that. It's like a side- Oh my god, it is like a sideways pylon! I know that warp prisms is one of those. Oh my god, do you think Void Ray should be able to warp in units? Should they be able to- Oh my god! Okay, forget about the game. Should they be able to... Power, I don't know, a gateway? Or like a, a shield battery? Or a photon cannon? I think you should be able to put a Void Ray in stasis mode, or like in, in whatever, surveillance mode or whatever, and then like... You should be able to paste, you know, a couple of those photon cannons right underneath it. That would make a lot of sense. Oh my god, this guy is so shiny as well. Yeah, those lights on the sights. All right, anyways, let's go back to the game. I could look at that Void Ray for hours. I could stare at it. I like how he <laughs> made a wall off over here for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, now there's a lot of Marines again. You gone? There was a time and a place for those Void Rays to go in. Um, okay, we're going around the site. I don't mind that either. Honestly, just shutting down the production is probably a great idea. Especially if you had a shield battery at home. Anyways, now we're gonna use the prismatic alignment ability in range of both of the bunkers because Yugron laughs in the face of danger. Could have probably fought it in such a way that only one of those, you know, bunkers would have been in range of the Void Rays, but he doesn't care. One thing to keep in mind, right? is that both of these guys are probably playing with a heartbeat of about 170 while, you know, playing this match right now. I know it's very easy for us to, like, look at these games and judge them, right? And, uh, you know, give them a hard time. But StarCraft 2 is a very stressful game for sure. And even though there's plenty of room for improvement, I can imagine that both of these guys are probably, uh, yeah, kind of freaking out the entire time, especially the Protos here, because he wasn't signing up to be cheesed. At the very least, the Terran player here kind of had a hand in the matter. Anyways, eventually, all the bunkers are cleaned up. We even have some micro back here. No, keep flying, keep, ooh, that was close. That was close. Zachary the Zealot, reincarnated over here. Uh, Zachary! Oh no, oh no. All right, anyways, another Void Ray is out. And you know what? Eventually, Protoss is gonna be able to stabilize. Darren hasn't really been doing a whole lot anymore with this proxy. We're gonna go for a siege tank too, which I think is the last unit you need. I think a cyclone is probably far more effective in basically every scenario. But anyways, I guess the Vikings and the Marines are in charge of shutting down the Void Race. Fair enough. Zacharito no longer chilling around. He's heard of the other uh, Zealot lives. And apparently he decides to uh, go in. Prismatic alignment! Lasers! Make them thick! Actually, it's fine. All right, so our Protoss player is actually held. I don't know what the Forge was for. I don't know why we didn't go for a shield battery. I've got many questions about the hold, but, but you know, he did hold, which is the most important part. Did we ever go warp gates, by the way? No, we also never went for the warp gate research. Anyways. He's managed to hold on. Terran, um, despite the fact that he's had all the time in the world to add on additional command centers, a ton more SCVs, he probably should be sitting at about 40 of those workers at this point on two bases. Luckily here for Ugron, there wasn't really a whole lot of macro from the Terran player in the meantime. He kind of just banked on winning with this. So I guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, another siege tank isn't gonna cut it, man. I guess we're gonna find out if Boran has a follow-up plan as well. A lot of players, especially on the lower end of the ladder, but it happens all the way into Grandmaster League as well. Oh my god. What just... What just happened here? No! The Viking?! Really? <laughs> I was gonna say, where did all the probes go? The landed Viking. <laughs> the true MVP. This has done more damage than literally everything the Terran player has done up to this point. All right, I think that Viking probably is responsible for about half of those SCV kills. Anyways, uh, what I was trying to get at is that there's a lot of one-trick ponies on the ladder, right? Like, you have a lot of people, even that are very high up on the ladder, that can't really play anything past, you know, their very first strategy. So, all they know is how to cheese, and some of them know how to cheese very well. In Boron's case, probably not the most optimal way of cheesing. 
but does he have an idea on how to follow this up? <laughs> Fusion Core, Starport, Tech Lab, Single Gas. All right, I think what we're going for here is a 15 SCV Battle Cruiser. Orbital Commands, entirely optional. Still an untamed cleaning bot, which is a little bit disappointing. Born right now, hovering over the, the, the starport, right? The, the command card, he's like, okay, 400 minerals, 300 gas, 400 minerals, 300 gas. I've got that because I haven't been macroing at all. You know what, Boran? If you do the math, you should start up a second starport with a tech lab, dude. So you can, you know, produce one out of two. And then uh, two starports and then not use them for a long time. I did the math for you, Boran. You're welcome. I d even did it while recording a video. It's a very dangerous move, but... He's got enough gas for it right now. Hmm. Did anyone, by the way, uh, not fail the Try Not To Cringe challenge yet? Is there anyone still playing? <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of comments where people are like, Okay, Loco, I made it 47 seconds. I'm proud that I did better than you, but... <laughs> it was hard. Alright, anyways, there's a better cruiser. Um, there's already, though, like, he knows that there's Void Rays out. Ugron is, you know, uh, obviously on the lower end of the ladder, too, so... His, 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 like, tools, right? His, like, tools of the trade of the Protoss. It's Photon Cannons, Zealots, and probably Dark Templar with Void Rays, right? Like, he's only got, like, four units that he's got access to. Maybe you think that, like... Oh, the Scouting Zealot. Maybe you think it's kind of like co-op, right? Where when you first start playing with one of the co-op commanders, you don't have access to all of the units yet. You have to actually level up. That's not actually the case for multiplayer, believe it or not. Ugron also has access to things like Immortals, Colossi, Disruptors. All of those are available. It's not like they suddenly unlock when you make it to Gold League. Um, however, uh, yeah, for most of the people on the lower end of the ladder, we can really sum it all up with just one group of, um, of units. Void race definitely at the tippity top of that list. Boran, gonna fly the better cruiser across. I like it. Using the technical jump defensively is 100% the way to go. Because there's already so many void rays out. No. Mm. <laughs> Why did we fly like halfway there? Oh no. Lasers! Yeah, now what? Are we gonna cancel the battle cruiser at home? <laughs> can I make a prediction? Can can I please make one prediction here? I would really like to see Boran make literally the exact same move with the second battle cruiser too. It's just about to pop. Boran, can you please teleport it in the exact same spot, in the exact same mineral line, only for it to then die in the exact same way? All right, here it goes. Better cruiser is out. Boran, okay, he selected it. No, Boran! Okay, he's going to a different location. But it's equally bad. Void rays on the minimap, moving on over in this direction. I mean, I guess at the very least, this BC is getting some work done. Even retargeting right there to one of the pros. But yeah, here's the lasers again. I've got a feeling that after 12 minutes of epic gameplay, um, I'm fairly certain that we're getting to the stage where Protoss can just F2, right? Use the old army hotkey and then hit the A key on the, on the keyboard for attack move and then just put it on the opponent's side of the map. Maybe use one of those Void Rays as a warp in location, right? With those... Why do they have pylons at the front? I don't get it. Is it to, like, focus the energy rays or something? Does a regular Void Ray also have that with the default skin? I have no idea. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the game a little bit because Ugron has decided to not actually... No! The third battle cruiser did the same thing too? Come on, man! All right, now the Void Rays are finally going across them. I, I don't, I, I can't. If you're still doing the challenge right now and you still haven't cringed, first off, you should probably like consider a professional poker career or something like that. Cause <laughs> maybe politics get on. <laughs> but seriously, what was the, there's a fourth battle cruiser coming too. I'm fairly certain Ugron is not gonna allow it to pop. But I am pretty sure that he would have just jumped that into the mineral line once more. 
He was like, well, the third time's the charm, right? First one didn't work, second one didn't work. <laughs> the third one definitely should obtain me the victory. All right, take a deep breath. <sighs> Game two and round two of the Try Not to Cringe Challenge. Neither player has started producing anything yet in this particular game. Once more, both players are unranked. No, no Overlord's cap either. Oh my god, okay, 20 sec- No, loco, loco, that didn't count, that didn't count. What are we doing? Anyways, bottom right in corner, playing with the blue Zerg drones. We have none other than Pinger. Pinger is going for a drone scout, no Overlord scout, because drones do the job just fine. Then he decided to go for both a spawning pool as well as an extractor at the exact same time. And now we finally start- Oh my- No way! No way! Are you really- Are you- there's a command center coming up right now. Like, literally at what is normally the third base location of the Zerk. I don't know if Phoenix has realized that the Zerk supply depots can fly. But... Are we gonna go... Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't make it a minute. I did not make it a minute for the... Yeah, the second game either. Anyways. But <laughs> top left and corner runner. This is not the bottom left. Top left and corner playing with the Red Terra SCVs. We have none other than Phoenix. Phoenix already trying to trick his opponent, right? He's like, okay, I'm running a Protoss nickname. Huh? Protoss nickname? But I actually play Terran. They would never expect the Planetary Fortress rush. Jin- uh, <laughs> Jin- 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 no, Pinger. Pinger decides to steal one of his opponent's gases. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure that this is a Planetary Rush. The problem with the Planetary Fortress cheese is that, first off, it's a bad build. But secondly, for the memes, it's still pretty fun. But third, right? Like, even if you manage to get... Where are you going to put it? You can't land on creep. So, best case scenario is you put it right on the, I don't know, outside of the, the creep range. And then you can't actually kill anything. Unless maybe you morph it in over there. You might be in range of the spawning pool. But this is not going to do much. I mean, obviously, like, if you get it up and running, right? Which is a big if because there's Zorklings out. Don't, don't even try, Phoenix. 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 <laughs> no. Really? Really? Cancelled. I agree. Phoenix should be cancelled. We should find him on social media. It actually does say the word cancel, apparently, when you cancel uh, a command center like that. Anyhow, uh, if you have an awesome game of StarCraft 2 and you would like me to make fun of your matches, you can submit them to replays at loco.tv. Just please don't be upset when I uh, start giggling and cackling about your game within a minute. I always prefer casting the craziest matches, though. We got a lot of replays sent our way. Shout out to everyone, by the way, who submits the games. All jokes aside, it is a lot of fun to watch. I know there's many of you that prefer watching these games over the pro-level games. Anyways, defensive planetary fortress in the main base. Shines once again. Phoenix is going to be able to get rid of the uh, extractor right here. Plus, he obviously managed to keep his mineral line safe against those 10 Zerklings. Command center, though. <laughs> it's burning. So it's slowly losing health, but an SCV has been produced and he's gonna start repairing. Zerklings though have speed at this point. Pinger here is gonna find out exactly where that CC is located. All right, he wants, why did he, what was the, what was the point of the morphin of that planetary right over there? I'm starting to like, is that just copium? Is that what it is? Like you, f you first wanna go over there and then over there and then you're like, well, if I can't do it anywhere else, I guess I'll build a planetary in the middle of the map. At least bring it over here, so you can, you know, or like, anywhere, right? Like, no, not, no, okay, not anywhere, anywhere. But like, anywhere useful. If we gotta morph in a planetary over here, I'm gonna cry. Okay, he needs to make an SCV first. Zerk, by the way, is going for a Roach Rush. Or, well, Rush-ish. Rush-ish. Anyways, don't make a planetary, or do. I would like to make, it, like, it would be kind of funny, but also a really dumb spot. Please don't, for your own sanities. Uh, like, for sanity's sake, rather, don't, don't do it. All right, Jimmy is back. 
Factory coming up. Command center. Number three, that is. Coming up as well. <laughs> Zerk's like, wait a second. There's a command center right over here to our left, boys. Um, I don't think Zerk can really do too much, though, against the planetary in the main base like that. I don't think you're going to be able to break through that, uh, Binger. No, I don't think it's going to happen. Nice. Blood for the blood god. There's three bunkers right here on the high ground. Soon gonna be done. Factory coming up too. No additional marine production here for Phoenix because, you know, SCVs do the job just fine. But marines can pop into the bunker here. And we should be okay. I mean, we would be even more we would be even more okay if we just fell back to our planetary in the main base. I'm just saying. Probably should use the tools that we've already uh, got at our disposal, right? Even though I disagree with the tools in the first place. You know, if you have them, you may as well use them. That's why I don't own a drill in real life. Because, you know, if I own one, my girlfriend will expect me to be able to use it as well. And, uh... Yeah, that, that would be a mistake, dude. <sighs> Anyways. What are we doing right now? <laughs> the epic move over right there. He doesn't know the bunker's empty. Ha! Anyways, roaches here are going to be picked off. Easy peasy. Command center still flying in the middle of the map. Six and a half minutes into this disaster of a game. But it looks like we're stabilizing. Are we going to once more send roaches to their graves? Because please just no. P please, like... You, you've already done this with eight of them. What makes you think six more are gonna make the difference? Yeah, no, that roach has to be over there. I agree. Let's min-max. <laughs> He's like, you know what was missing? You know what was missing in that game? Or in that fight? One Ravager. If only I would have had one Ravager. Things would have, yeah, much better. I agree, dude. All right, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. There's gonna be a bit of a roach meat grinder over here. I mean, assuming he falls back to the planetary anyways. There's... How is there still such a small Terran army? He's got so much money in the bank, but he's not spending any of it. No tech labs, just one siege tank. Uh, even though he had like three minutes there, he only made one siege tank. He's... <laughs> the Ravager, man! First we had the hero Viking, now we have the hero Ravager. The tr oh, oh, Jimmy! Oh my god, sick micro there, my Phoenix! Anyways... The Ravager over here is actually doing work. It's got seven kills. Sorry, Mr. Ravager. I didn't mean to make fun of you. Even getting the kill steal right there from those Zerklings. Planetary, though. No! Don't feed it to the planetary! Nice, dude. There it is. All right. In the meantime, in the bottom left -hand corner. Remember that command center? This is what he looks like now. <laughs> He uh, built a little planetary fortress on top of itself. The hero Ravager, is it gonna scout? Oh, I would love that, but I don't think it is. Nah. We're just gonna try and throw more resources at the problem. Don't get me wrong. Zerk here is extremely far ahead. But I have seen games like this before. Phoenix, are you gonna go double up on the planetaries? If you go for another planetary over there... Uh, Orbital Command? Boo. Weak. Weak. Anyways, he decided to go for an orbital command instead. Like, we're like one battle cruiser away, right? From uh, this being an absolute disaster right now from Zerk. I don't know why there is no battle cruiser, or like, you know, that's usually a very popular unit in these viewers' submitted games, but like, any choice is better than whatever is going on right now here for Phoenix, because he doesn't have a win condition anymore, right? Like, his win condition right now is to try and not die. Hopefully the opponent disconnects or something, you know, maybe he's got unreliable internet, something like that, right? Like, that's that's the way that Mr. Phoenix plans on winning right now. And I feel like going for actual units and actual strategy might be more efficient. Anyways, a beautiful safe place right there for all of those SCVs to repair that planetary back up to full. I mean, this is so much damage, dude. The planetary fortress. Not the Ravager, man. Is that the OG Ravager? I don't remember. I think it might just be. 44 kills. 44! 
Oh my god, okay, the Ravager's also gonna die. I don't know if it was the OG, but... 47 kills right there. Phoenix is like, great! He's even adding on some SCVs in the bottom left hand corner, but he's got the rally point set towards the top left. Meaning that, uh... He might accidentally, you know, show his opponent. <laughs> it's like the finish line right over here, man. Those are the goalposts. Phoenix keeps moving them, but I still don't see a win condition, dude. Oh, yep. Yeah. Plug it. There we go. Okay, now we've got a full wall off. <sighs> we can breathe again. Zork, in the meantime, has gone for a third base. Lair should be done. What are we going to do? I'm going to speed things up. That's what I'm going to do. Bum, ba -da -da -da. Terran's still not doing much. Zerk decides to go Overlord Speed for some reason. Are we going to once more throw more stuff at the problem? Like, Pinger here obviously doesn't realize that this is a two-base Terran, right? Like, he thinks that this is a one-base Terran and this is all the problems that he has to concern himself with. Since he hasn't gone around the map, despite having Overlord Speed and Zorklings and all that, right? He hasn't scouted at all. That base in the bottom left is just, yeah, an unknown to him. So at this point, I think he's making the assumption, okay, my opponent is just kind of griefing me, right? Like, he's just kind of sitting there waiting for, you know, I don't know, the time to go by, right? He's just kind of meditating with his SCVs. Um, turns out, there's actually more. This is actually starting to become a little dangerous. The base in the bottom left. I mean, Planetary is going to keep standing strong, man. 58 kills. Uh, it's not going to cut it, man. You don't have any upgrades on those roaches. Siege tank is even going to siege up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I mean, if you're still not cringed, I don't know, man. That was a, uh... 72 kills right now on the Planetary Fortress, and most of those are roaches. Oh my god. He's finally got a moment where he thinks for longer than half a second, and he realized, wait a second, it was a command center. I saw a command center. Found it. Alright. Time to start, uh, a three digits worth of kills on this one, too. All right, we're already, you know what, this, this Planetary Fortress is speed running the kill count, okay? Those were Zerklings. 28 kills in total. If this turns out to be a Terran victory, I don't know what's, like, I, I, hmm. It's really starting to look like it. That being said, Zerk is still in a much better position. But you can see that he's not entirely sure what the best course of action is at this point. What about flying units? What about actually saving up an army first? What about sunshine? What about rain? What about all the things? Wait, wait no. <laughs> he keeps throwing in like very small armies. Like it's actually kind of funny. I've coached many people over the years and many, many, many people on the lower ends of the ladder don't want to move out until they are maxed out. There's many instances where attacking before you're maxed out, right, with full upgrades and everything, is actually very beneficial for obvious reasons, right? You can hit timing attacks and stuff. Pinch is kind of doing the exact, like, thing, but then, you know, he's doing the exact thing, but the opposite, right? Anyways, he's doing the exact opposite thing, where he is, uh... Yeah, uh, not saving up anything, and he's just kind of throwing small little armies at the problem that he is not able to solve. Here we go again. Phoenix has done a much better job spending his money, too. Mostly because he's not getting a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. Stopped making SCVs there for a long time. Plus, he's lost 56, actually. <laughs> Alright, Planetary Fortress. Did he get the... No, he didn't get the range stuff great. I would love to see high sec auto-tracking for the Planetaries at this point. That would be funny. Anyways, a lot of roaches. You know what's good against roaches? Marauders. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Terra, no! Phoenix, are you the one that submitted this game to me? I can, like, an, I can almost hear a future Phoenix, even though he's obviously not listening to this while I'm casting the game, right? But I can almost see someone smiling as they're watching this game. 
If it's actually, like, usually it's the winner of the game that submits it to me, right? If this is actually Phoenix submitting this replay to me. Oh, no. Uh, it's starting to look like a Terran win. That was awful. <laughs> but it's also really good. <laughs> it's awfully good. Goodly awful. Something like that. Anyways. We're speeding things up again. Starport coming up. 17 minutes into the game. Zerg, by the way, happily expanding the creep. He's gone up towards a hive right now. He's going for lurkers. No lurker upgrades yet, as far as I can tell. We're gonna go for a viper. Honestly, I don't think you can micro all of those units, man. Vipers are good, don't get me wrong, but like... You're, you're doing, you know, things that structurally just don't make a lot of sense. There are scans available. Oh my god, no, you gotta burrow those things. Oh my god, the siege tanks are gonna fire right over there! The planetary! Planetary 41 kills! Oh my god, okay, it is gonna fall, it seems. I think I saw 44 kills, so not as many kills on that one as the OG CC. <laughs> Alright, those SCVs have nowhere to go, because apparently Phoenix made a full wall of right here in the natural. He just starts up another command center in the exact same spot. He's like, great. I could, you know, send my workers somewhere else. I could also just leave them over here. Pinch, if you are gonna go for lurkers, don't get me wrong, I think it's the right call, but you really need more stuff. Like, you need to save up units for a minute or two. Well, actually, a minute of seven, right, in, in your case. And then, like, make a max that army and go. The problem where you have an army based around Zerg units, right, is that, generally speaking, they shine in larger numbers because they're such glass cannons. If your opponent, right, always gets to jump on you, because obviously, well, siege tanks can shoot away pretty far, and the, uh, you know, the planetary fortress obviously can shoot pretty far too, they're always gonna be able to get the first hit of damage, and if you lose half your army with the very first siege tank shells, uh, yeah, you're in a lot of trouble. Especially since Darren is split up here, right? Like, there's a bunch of siege tanks in the main and in the natural expo. Uh, he's not gonna be able to commit all of his defenses in one big location, so... You can make use of that Zerg mobility. Uh. I'm afraid we're gonna see another Zerg army. Just running in there. Look at the inefficiency so far. <laughs> uh, are we gonna go for another planetary? Of course we are. Is this also gonna be a planetary? I feel like it probably should be at this point, because the planetaries have been the real MVPs in this game, I mean. At this point, Pinch is also not entirely sure. He saw one medevac with three marauders in it, he's like, okay, this is my life now. I have to dedicate all my resources... <laughs> ...to defending a medevac drop. <laughs> Anyways... You know what's better than three marauders? Five marauders? Alright, Metavex are not gonna be able to survive it seems. <laughs> <laughs> the graphic glitched out. <laughs> Did you see the the pool right there going all the way over there? Alright, Pinch is gonna go again. He's gonna go for a second Lurker then. He's got double Hydra then here too. I think it's mostly because the Terran was shooting at stuff here for a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna go again. Oh, mm. It's a very small army still. Okay, sadly the Viper was destroyed here. Oh my, oh my, no, 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 no. Don't do it! No, stop it, man! Definitely don't group up your Hydras! What are you doing right now? Oh my god, that's Mint's Hydra list! <laughs> the stress became too much. He's like, you know what? I don't want to play against this Terran guy anymore. I'm just gonna leave. And eventually, Phoenix obtains the victory without ever really attacking his opponent. Like, I just realized, Phoenix, he's never actually attacked his opponent, other than, like, with a couple of Marauders and a Medivac, and with, like, an attempted planetary fortress rush at, like, minute one. But other than that, he really never actually attacked. <laughs> 